Yep. It happened. It did. It worked. For two happened. two weeks in a row, it worked. It worked. Hey, Andy. Do you hey, know Jay. what time it is? <laughs> What time is it? What time is it? It's prime time. It's prime time. What time is it? What time is it? Prime time. It's prime time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the world, yeah, it's Tuesday. And on Tuesday, well, we've been doing this for over a year now. Oh, I guess about a year or so. <laughs> we do a show called Primetime. <laughs> it's all for the guitar nerds. All guitar, all nerd, all night long. So welcome to the second show of 2021. Tonight, we have our special guest, Mr. Gabriel O'Brien, with us back again. Lindsay Love is here, as always, with Jay Park, and, and we got lots, lots of special guests that'll be on the show later on, <laughs> later on, <laughs> on prime time. Yeah, you know, it's awesome. First of all, what a wonderful rendition of the primetime theme song, Andy Lund. Thank you. Yeah. Special. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> Yeah, he had the Zoom freeze for a minute. He Zoom uh -huh. freezed out. Uh, we got a comment already from Hunter, our good friend Hunter, that said, you, primetime and hockey season, don't like each other. Mm. That's true, but mm -hmm. it's fine because it's almost baseball season. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Taylor Primetime, uh, season two, episode two. Mm. Double, double, basketball. I'm excited about this episode. This episode is about the making of I Know What Love Is, which if you are unfamiliar with I Know What Love Is, it is a project that we've been working on. All four of us have been working on for quite a while. Tonight is a very, very special show. We're going to have some artists who joined the song and help us create the song Jump On, and uh, it's going to be really exciting. Welcome back, Gabriel O'Brien, to the show. I feel like you were on the show like a week and a half ago. Let's feel like that. Hello, my friends. Good to, to see you, all, albeit distantly. <laughs> right. Lindsay, how are you doing this week? I'm doing good. I'm doing did, good. Thanks for asking. Did you commandeer your daughter's bedroom? What's oh, up? yes. Oh, yeah. Like I was telling you during pre-show, I, I we're getting the floors done in the other room I'm normally in. And so I totally kicked my four-year-old daughter out of her room. How did she take that? She understands. She's, she's four. <laughs> hey, how are the North Woods, Andy Lund? Woods stellar, Jay. Beautiful today. Really? Is it Pretty cold? cold. Uh, it's uh, it's actually warming up a little bit. It's going to be about thirty-five tomorrow, I think. Whoa, thirty-five. Yeah. Uh, how warm is it there where you live, Gabriel? Uh, it is currently. I will. I'll give you a current rundown because it's about to get colder. It's currently a balmy twenty-five. Oh, the the mm. low for tomorrow night is nine. Oh my gosh! Yeah, well, yeah. Some, some zeros coming up on the old weather app there too. On on on. Uh... This has been primetime weather with Gabriel O'Brien. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Oh, that's a new segment. I'm really excited. Yes. And before we I have get a in... green screen, I can do it. <laughs> and before we get into new segments or a segment at least a segment, um, welcome to Taylor Primetime again. If you do not. Or if you have not, if you do not know about primetime or you haven't seen it before, this is a guitar nerd talk show. It's a guitar nerd talk show. We talk a lot about guitars and stuff. But today's episode is about music. The one thing that we make out of guitars. So I'm really excited about that. But of course, like the show ha like happens on the show, we have a segment and we have a lovely segment. Sometimes it's called Hug Your Haters. Sometimes it's called Show the Love. This is kind of like both. We did get a little something. I don't know if it was hate. It was kind of love. But Andy, how about 
Do you have a tune for this? Most everybody could use some hugs these days. Maybe now and forever. Remember to keep most hugs distant or virtual. Don't hug in crowds and cough into your elbows and show the love send a hug if you can send lots of giant hugs to New York or maybe Japan good vibes we all need since before Time began, so show, show some love. Mm-hmm. That got me in the mood. Right? <laughs> ready to show some love. I'm, I'm ready to show time. some love. All right, so this next one was great. So some of you guys know how this goes. If we get a hater, we often communicate to that hater by way of a virtual hug on this show. We didn't really get a hater, but we got something. We got a comment on our YouTube uh, from last week's episode, and it simply went like this. I'm just not a fan of this format. (laughs) <laughs> Andy talking about guitars, about making guitars or the state of Taylor. I could listen to that all day. Not but me, this Andy format Powell. does not work for me at all. That's just me. Okay, that's that was the comment. So here's the deal. The reason we're showing this fella love, his name's Ed. The reason why we're showing him love is because this is not the first time he's commented which means he watches the show. <laughs> we love you. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Thanks for, we appreciate your honesty, yep. your transparency. We get it. It's not for everybody. But tonight, we hope it's for you. Thanks All for right. coming back. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> thanks for coming back. Every Keep commenting. Time. Keep coming. Hi, hi, Ed. Thanks for being here. We love you. Thank you for coming back. Sorry, it's not your deal, but we appreciate your your honesty. So there you go. Andy, we love that song. That song was fantastic. All right, so here's how this show is going to work. We're going to talk a little bit about I Know What Love Is, and then we're going to have some of the artists on and do about a 10-minute segment with each artist. And Gabriel is going to show you how we mixed some of this beast of a song. So if you're not familiar, I Know What Love Is is a philanthropic project that did kind of an interesting idea in april uh one of our creative director marketing director fellow by the name of craig came to me and said man we're in the middle of this pandemic we're at this we have the stay at home order and you started to see people get online and make videos like zoom videos i mean we kind of birthed prime time out of this. It's kind of a similar thing. But he came to me and he said, what if we did one of those massive kind of Brady Bunch like Zoom songs? How cool would that be? And I said to him, well, actually, I kind of had this idea about two or three years ago where I wanted to, when we launched the Grand Pacific Guitars, I wanted to work with a specific songwriter and create an anthem as a marketing campaign for the Grand Pacific. I don't even know if you guys knew this, but this is this is how it all started. So, and the idea, so I said to Craig, I said, but I got an idea that goes a little further. We've actually been working on something already. So I had already been working on this with Gabriel, and I'll get into that in a minute, but we had already been working on this before we even brought it to the Taylor folks. Um, for a very long time, there are two people who are on the song along with three, along with Gabe, Gabriel here. I work with Gabriel a lot, as you guys know from the last episode, 
that he was on. There are two people, two artists who are on the song who I really wanted to work with for a very long time. I've wanted to collaborate in some musical way. Um, I have a history in the record industry. So is that maybe releasing a song that they make or um, in some, some capacity, I wanted to work with him, Keith Goodwin. And if you've seen the cover art, the song is by Keith Goodwin. He, he was the main writer on the song. And then Gabe's already tired. <laughs> I have the yawns. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's fine. It's a lengthy story, but we'll get to it. It's almost done. And then we're going to bring some people on. This is going to be Gabe, fun. Maybe Gabe doesn't like this format either. Maybe He doesn't like the <laughs> format anymore. Not my favorite either. Not his thing. It's fine. Oh, okay. It, okay. So, and, <laughs> and the other person was a gentleman, uh, Keith Goodwin from a band called Good Old War. I've known Keith for a very long time. He was in a band called Days Away for a long time. Uh, and I've always wanted to work with him. And he is who I wanted to work with on this this other project for the Grand Pacific. So the other person was Chris Connolly. Chris Connolly is in the song. He wrote a really hooky guitar part that's fantastic. He comes from a band called Saves the Day. So I reached out to Keith and I said, hey, remember that thing I wanted to work on a couple of years ago? Do you want to do it again? Well, we never did the first one because we ran out of time. So or money or something. It just didn't work out for the Grand Pacific. But I want to create a song, work on a song with you, that is a philanthropic project where all proceeds benefit Music Cares. Um, if you're not familiar with Music Cares, Music Cares is a uh, recording academy foundation, uh, 501c3. They are a foundation that help the people behind the music not only with COVID relief in these times, um, with mental health, physical health, um, financial health, um, getting people help they need when they need it. Being an artist, as we all know, can be tough. Uh, and, and, and some people sit there and they'll say, two minutes of parking. I see that, I saw that comment. That was that was awesome. so it was good. like 15 minutes, <laughs> but I'm gonna so condense good. it, I'm almost done. Anyway, so, the project was birthed out of this idea. Let's make something. Let's create an anthem and all proceeds will go to Benefit Music Cares COVID Relief Fund to support the artists, their crew, their families, and people who have been negatively affected or challenged by COVID and the pandemic. We had a lot of touring artists who just can't tour. And but for me, what was close to my heart were all of the crew members who also can't tour. It's not just the artist. The artist has a way sometimes to even create revenue as of right now, but it's the guitar techs and the drum techs and the tour managers and the lighting techs and the venue operators, the people who, who live venues, what are we going to do? So we created this project known as I Know What Love Is. The song is titled I Know What Love Is Because of You. And there was only one other person that there was actually one other person that I wanted to add to the mix. Haha, <laughs> pun. That was a pun for you, Gabe. Dad pun. Rich Cachado is watching this and he laughed. Yeah. <laughs> so, a uh, Paul Tobias laughed too. De definitely, Paul laughed. My mom, not so much. She was like, stop. You're way ahead. Stop. Stop while you're ahead. Okay, anyway. So, I called Gabe on the phone and I said, hey, we have this project and you're gonna mix it. And that's how it happened. I didn't ask him if he wanted to be a part of it. I told him that he was going to be a part of it. There was no other person on the planet that I know that I could work with who could handle mixing more than 200 tracks of audio. Gabriel O'Brien, we started this in mid-April. <laughs> How do you feel about it now? Great, actually. Um, I. It's funny. Most of the things in in uh, Lindsay, Andy, Jay, you've all done studio work, so you all know this. Most of the time, you get done with something and you just don't want to hear it for a while. You just don't want to hear it for like five years <laughs> and then you go back to it and you're like it's great i love it but this is a little different um 
because I find so much stuff in it with every listen. You know, sometimes I'll just sit down and I'll go, okay, you know, I just, I'll just zoom in on, you know, mentally zoom in on, you know, harmony vocal parts or on, you know, a, a bass line and remember why I liked it so much to begin with, stuff like that. So I've never really gotten tired of it. Um, I think most people, when they re-listen to stuff, do it for hypercritical reasons. So I'll take like week-long breaks and then come back to it to see if I he hear something. And no, I, I couldn't. I couldn't be happier about it. It it makes me happy to hear it, um, because I know how many people put a lot of time and a lot of love and a lot of effort into it. So no, it just it just makes me happy every time I hear it. Lindsay, so as you know, if you've seen the video, Lindsay is also a very special part, and so is Andy Lund. Andy Lund played like probably 150 of the 200 <laughs> tracks. So we'll get to that in a minute, but. Uh, Lindsay, I've heard over and over when you get to the third verse and Lindsay comes on and starts singing that part, that is so probably good. the ultimate tearjerker. It's the moment of the song where it kind of just all rests and comes together. Um, what did you think, or from your perspective, what did you think when I brought this idea to you and asked you to be a part of it? Well, I mean, I think like, like Gabriel said, probably said, and I think like almost anybody probably said is just, they were, um, they loved the idea. I love the idea of what the song kind of meant in the, the broader scope of like the times we were in where you have, um, you know, music has, has done so much for everybody, so much for the world, so much for me personally. And so to be able to give back to music this way and knowing we were partnering with like music cares and people that want to take care of people in the industry uh, who've had their livelihoods affected. I was just on board just for that alone. And then you hear this song and the message behind it, just really this, this, the song of coming together, like kind of like, look, it's, it's been a tough year and kind of going into 2021, it's been a tough chapter season, but, um, there's gonna there's a light at the end of this tunnel we're all gonna get together we're all gonna be able to jam again we music is is forever um the community that's around music is is forever and so it was just it's cool it was a cool project andy how did you feel about it i was uh honored to be asked to be part of it but the the first memory that i really had of it it's it was that i i really appreciated how how you know it's it's difficult to write a positive song when when there's so much bad negative stuff going on you know that's that's really i think the sign of a a really good songwriter actually is to be able to turn it from the emotion around either direction really and i thought that like when i heard that song and in, in the middle in the middle of the springtime when everything was just falling apart and nobody knew what was going on uh, it really meant a lot to me to hear that message at that point I love the idea of collaborating with um, a lot of other people. And I like the, the way that you guys handled it. And I had a couple of people that I wanted to invite from around the world and you, you gladly let them be part of it. Um, and, um, and they're all thrilled as well. And so it really is a, it's a universal language moment in so yeah. many ways, I think. And that's what I appreciate probably the most about it is all the people uh, who were part, were part of it. And, and I have to agree with the the verse that Lindsay saying Lindsay sings because uh, that part wasn't on the original part like that was added later right so I I didn't even hear that that's when I played my parts I didn't hear her singing and then when that part came in it's like who is that <laughs> like I had I couldn't even I it's like who is that you know because you have such a unique voice so you it was a really you. nice uh, nice spot for you to to shine. Yeah, it was special. Uh, Gabriel and I could before we're gonna we're gonna invite our, our first artist of the night in is is our really wonderful friend Daria Musk. But right before we do that, um, <clears throat> that third verse was a moment that had to happen. Uh, I think I, I can speak for for me, Gabe. I'd love your opinion on it. But we. We worked on it. I think we all kind of put lyrics in, we put ideas in, 
we put yeah. we brought things together and because we knew that we needed something yeah to kind of pull the whole thing together we had we'd been working on the song for well i know i know when it i know exactly when the discussion kind of started um because i had this was we sometime long before there was a global pandemic we had scheduled like a family trip uh and rented a beach house on the coast of North Carolina yeah, with just our immediate family. So we were driving back from that and um, driving the car. And we'd been talking about, there was, there was already at that point, this was June. So there was already so much in the song at that point. And, and it felt like it was just big and it stayed big and we needed to pull back and we knew that. And so we'd kind of been talking about this idea for like maybe a third verse or something. And I jotted, I jotted some like lyric ideas down in the car, not to write part of the song, but more as like a, maybe this will jog Keith and inspire him to write something that's, you know, good. And so like, uh, so it was like a, Hey, this is kind of what I'm thinking. Maybe this will inspire you. Um, and he came back and wrote, I don't even know what I wrote. I'm sure it was awful, but whatever he wrote was <laughs> a thousand, thousand times better than anything I could write on my best day. So, so yeah. Um, and it, and we just decided to, you know, kind of as a group to kind of take the song and, and make it small and, and just take this, you know, largeness of the song and then just make it small and, and center it. And it really, uh, for me just brought the whole thing into focus, I think. Um, it led to a bunch of interesting, so the song that we sent out to artists was, Much was different. way, was way different. So <clears throat> that led to some pretty interesting, uh, editing <laughs> mm -hmm. and, uh, there was some, some pretty, uh, pretty high wire editing that had to happen. Um, I think there were like 80 vocals at that point that had to be like trimmed and moved. And the, like the way the song ended then had like two choruses in a row and so like the, there's like a two note end of the choruses. So I, we had to go steal one from an earlier chorus and like move that for 80 vocals and then like <laughs> time correct them and line them all up. It was, it was really complicated. So we, there was some, we, it was a high wire act for a little while. It was, we, <laughs> I, I sent Jay a lot of funny texts around that and like, we had some tough complex. conversations. That's for sure. The three of us kind of made, made sure, but we wanted the song to be everything it could be. So yeah. One of the one of the most wonderful arranging artists that I know is Daria Musk. Um, if you're not a fan of Daria Musk, you, you should, should be. You should be a fan of Daria Musk. She has this uncanny ability to just rearrange a song in the most beautiful way. It's covers or the songs that she writes, um, it's spectacular. So we're gonna pull her into the chat real quick or into the uh, Zoom real quick. Here she comes slowly. There she comes. Well, there's her face. Hi. Uh, <laughs> hey, and she brought Daria. Ram. Hey. How could I not? That is awesome. Um, it's so great. Good to see you, Ram. Good to see you guys. <laughs> Ram, Ram also performed on the song. He played some of the sweet bass licks, that's for sure. Yeah, I had a lot of fun writing different parts for that. It was great. I, I think you did an amazing job, Gabe. It's just uh, Oh, thank you. <laughs> I sort of, my heart went out to you when I heard, oh my God, he's going to have to do this. How many people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And sorry for sending a million vocals. We got so into it. It was so inspiring. I just, I remember, I can't remember how many things I sang, but <laughs> I was like, this it was great. <laughs> well, I, I knew, I knew what early on, whatever you guys did was going to be amazing. And I mean, Ram's a just absolutely wonderful bass player. Um, and, and I knew I've heard so much of what you guys have done, you know, over time. And I knew whatever you guys built was going to be really special. In fact, we were kind of talking in the pre-show about something that you guys created. That's this beautiful thing. And no one has heard it because it got <laughs> left on the cutting room floor because the song shifted in a very different direction. And there was like, there, there was a version of the mix it was actually in, but it just, it didn't work with everything else we were doing and it ended up on the editing room floor, but there's this super cool breakdown. So I, I'm, I'm like really hoping there's a, a, a Daria and Ram cover at some point with that. Yeah, in it. We would love to. I know. I remember gorgeous. the moment 
Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I remember coming in and Ram was like, I kind of reharmonized it. And like, I stayed up all night doing this whole thing. And then I got in there, I started writing different parts. We're like, they're never going to have room to use the same so many amazing people on this song. But yeah, if we get to yeah. be like some, you know, secret track B-side version, that would be awesome. <laughs> all right. And so, so before we get into Daria's part, I'm going to have Gabriel share. I'm going to have Gabriel share the, um, his his actual that the, the, the session darkest part it's in the mix crazy. it's going to be incredible everybody but, in the chat's going to go crazy when they see the tracks it's yeah, amazing yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, we'll, we'll see how well uh yeah in logic as well my god amazing let me uh are you there i'm here can you hear me yeah Ooh, yeah Cool. Still here. All right. All right. So this is the, this is the session. Um, and it's enormous, um, wow. about some of these down, but yeah, this is a, not a small session. So when you look at, when you look at the session, uh, in this kind of exploded view, anywhere you see an arrow, those are groups. So if I, pop these down like here here's Ryan's um yeah Matt and Heather sent 20 tracks um so like there's there's some people that sent two tracks and there's some people that sent 20 um it's all over the place so there's places where you see things that are bounced down so everything in blue are vocals and again all these arrows are groups of vocals um green are guitars this kind of a uh, dark Dark magenta e color are the bass tracks. And then this uh, lighter, lighter green color are the, all the drums and percussion. And then at the bottom, you've got keyboards. So it's not a small track. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a ton. Will you go into Daria's part and, and show what, what they sent and then what we kept and then play a little of the song? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so let's go in and pull. Daria's uh so this is just so this is what's super cool um I don't I don't have the breakdown in here I'm sorry to say um so this is this is Daria's vocal mix um and you can see in here I'll turn automation on just so you can <laughs> see some of the automation so you can see where I've cut things yes well um so you should hopefully are you getting audio yeah, I think a little so. bit, a little, a little bit. bit. It's not very loud, is it? Mm -mm. All right, hang on. This is a low budget show, guys. It's a way <laughs> low budget show, but it looks pretty so on the budget. screen. It does. It's awesome. Low budget, uh, low budget show. We're gonna futz around with it and see if we can't get some get some better audio going. Um, You can see what move just like moving faders looks like. Yeah. Is is interesting. Um I don't know why we don't Oh, yes I do cuz I've got you sold. All right. So the so full song and every day will be a celebration. I know what love is because of you. So just real quick I'm going to kill our automation so we can just hear what dancing in this dangerous world holding roses from the garden and you sway with me So you know daria has got a really nice unique vocal style and there there's a bunch of cool harmonies in there um and just the way it sits in things you can see little points like where I wanted to pull her out this is cool I really dig this part. All of those vocals are just Daria. <laughs> yeah. So that's like, this is a cool example of like building layers. This is in Josh Kragic's verse. And it's, you can see that just that little part right there. Um, Like that's how much work went into it. That that awesome little. Wow. I mean, that's amazing, and it just 
that little layer makes that moment for me. Oh, oh thank you so, so much. <laughs> and thanks, Zebo, in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Gabe, if you want to, we'll wrap up with Daria real quick so we can pull the rest of the artists in. Uh, yeah, there's I, a couple. Um, I want to show off this cool bass part that Ram does. Oh, that's, yeah, please. Yeah. So there are kind of three bases going here. One is a sub bass that's pretty thick. Um, but there's this cool bass run, and I got to find Daria's guitar. There's the guitars. Okay. So this bass part. So that bass part is awesome, and I love it. <laughs> And that's all the GS Mini bass. That's all the GS Mini, yeah. yeah. Right. So here's what's cool, though. If you go solo the guitar part with it. You've got the guitar lick going with it. It's so good. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and in the grand context of the song, that's this. So that dovetails with a little uh, lick that Chris Conley was playing on guitar, and he never heard what you guys were doing. And we never heard his thing. I, that's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so right. beautiful. You're pulling this out for us because even being an artist on the track, like I think when we, it had been such a long time between when we heard the song, when we recorded, and then when we heard the final. Right. And when we heard the final, I think we were both just like, that's such a pretty song. <laughs> but we didn't even hear us in there anymore. Right. Like we're like, what did we even do? I don't even remember. We just, you get hit by the, the beauty of the whole thing and the emotion right. of it. And just, that made it real for me, the idea that we actually played with all these other musicians. Yeah. And being like just stuck in our little studio in the middle of a snowstorm, in the middle of this crazy time that we're in. Gabe, you just made that real for me. I'm yeah. like, we played with those guys. That is so cool. So that awesome. is, as a as an artist, that means so much. It's so beautiful. And just uh -huh. before we go, just the larger context of like what you guys put together and the fact that you, this is why I love my Taylor family so much. You guys are always dreaming outside of the box. The idea, Jay, that you even thought of doing this is so <laughs> and so beautiful. And it was so brilliantly executed. And Lindsay, your part was so stunning. Yes. Um, and so, yeah, I just we were so happy to be part of it. Yeah. Thank you guys oh, so thanks, much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Gabe. If you want to stop sharing so that we can show their faces a little larger, that would be I amazing. I will stop sharing. Yes. Um, yeah. The hardest part of. Uh oh. Lester. Obviously, is terribly difficult. Um, there he goes. <laughs> but when when you have things that are so good, and you have people that are doing such interesting things like that thing you know like that that lick right there that dovetailed yeah. so well with what chris conley did like those little things like those are the things when i talk about going back and listening to things those little bits of magic that you're like dang man i'm i'm so pumped about that i love that like it's yeah. so cool yeah you're gonna be proud of this song forever you're gonna <laughs> and be like oh, i remember that <laughs> yeah we we are proud of the song and uh we will be proud of it forever we will be proud of it forever and at the end of the day keith gabriel and i just wanted our moms to be able to hear it and they did and i think they're proud which is pretty cool so um <laughs> we appreciate you guys daria ram for everything you do for taylor and joining this project it means the world to us yeah i love um, you guys love you we guys. love you guys <laughs> and <laughs> So maybe we could do it again someday. We'll figure out how to do it, but we are looking forward to that Daria solo, Daria and Ram solo version. Yeah, you got it. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, um, we're gonna we're gonna we'll keep going and see all the other amazing artists. You guys, really cool people are coming up. Um, and everyone in the comments, thank you, and we'll see you guys later. And, and by the way, all of your jingle songs are like legit, really gorgeous songs. <laughs> just, just like, Whenever you go into them, I'm like, oh, I want this one on my phone. Okay. Mwah. We thank love you. you. Thank, you, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you guys so much. We, we love, love you guys. Later. Mwah. Mwah. All right. We're going to bring in the, one of the most infectious smiles you've ever seen in your entire life.
True one of the most story. talented people. Uh, I am truly, truly a fan, Mr. Ryan Stewart. He's coming. He's coming. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> he's he's from St. Louis, man. So I gotta I gotta I gotta hang up hang out with him. He's here somewhere, isn't he? Uh huh. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> yes. So Ryan, <laughs> how this show works is I wear a hat, a different hat for the guests. And when I asked Daria and, and Ram, actually, you know. It, are you they live in the area where it could be almost a Yankees fan or almost a Red Sox fan so I didn't really know so I asked and she in all caps replied the Buccaneers are going to the Super Bowl <laughs> so at that point I was wearing my Detroit Tigers hat just because I am not a Cleveland fan but G Gabriel is it's okay he was on the show before and I wore a Cleveland hat. So there for you, you my friend, I am wearing a St. Louis Redbirds hat. But check this out. It's signed by Hall of Famer Adam Wainwright. Oh wow. That's that's uh uh that's like that's gonna be an heirloom for your for your family. You Pretty can much. hold on to that. That's some that's serious clout right there. I mean uh, on, honestly, I hope that when you take that hat off, you're going to put it back into an airtight case <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and 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 never take it out of that case ever again. And just if you if you wear, you know, just wear the case on on top of your head. <laughs> you got it. You got it. All right, Ryan. Ryan, before we dig into your part, just like we did with Daria and Ram. Where do you come from? Who are you? Introduce yourselves. We are all truly, I mean, you've known Gabriel for a while. We are all, I can speak for all of us, true fans of you and your incredible voice. <laughs> well, I, I really appreciate it. First and foremost, I want to thank uh, you guys for at least uh, having me on and thinking that I'm good enough to uh, have been on this song with so many fantastic artists. I I am just, uh, it's, it was, it was an honor to be involved in, with all that. So, uh, but, but as you say, uh, I am from the Lou and I'm proud. Uh, so, uh, I, St. Louis, Missouri, born and raised, I've been here all my life. Uh, and, um, I, uh, like I said, I, uh, you know, I, I, I met Gabe through the, uh, through, so, uh, Gabe, uh, we met at my wedding. <laughs> yeah, I, I met Gabe at his wedding. For the we met at my wedding, time. and and it was actually my very first time even being in uh, Ohio. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so, I mean, our yeah, our wives our wives uh, went to high school together and are close friends. And Ryan uh, was Molly's date to our to our wedding, and we were super pumped when we met him because he was awesome. And, uh, and so we're immediately like, yeah, Molly's going to marry that dude. Uh, and, and super pumped about it. So, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it was, it was interesting because, you know, I, I you know, I knew the, the big cities, you know, in, in Ohio, but I've never been to, you know, Millersburg or Shreve, Ohio or Worcester, <laughs> which I kept calling Wooster. And apparently I was, you know, I, I was about to get. I was about to get beat down for that. <laughs> so. I, I live in Amish country, folks. I live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and so hey. um, as an African-American man going into the middle of nowhere, America, it felt a little <laughs> weird. But by the time we got to our destination, to the wedding, it was fantastic. Everybody was super nice. Um, I got to meet a lot of Molly's friends for the first time. And then the, the you know, guests of honor, you know, Gabe and Kristen. And, and that's when I found out that Gabe was into music and all this kind of stuff. And so I was, you know, I was itching to meet, to meet Gabe, but, you know, obviously at a wedding, you know, it, things go by a million miles an hour. So I got to meet Gabe for like a split second. And, but in that split second, it was, I was like, oh yeah, this, we, we are going to get along just fine. So, <laughs> um, but because of, because of that, that, you know, circumstance and the, the reason, you know, we, we, I, we were able to, to meet, uh, 
Gabe and I have become great friends and we, we trade back and forth, you know, music, I, um, ideas and thoughts and, and things like that. And so he hit me up. Uh, I think it was, man, I, I want to say it was, uh, late April, you know, something like that. And you're like, Hey, I got something this project like that. thing coming up. Yeah. Yeah. I got this project thing coming up and I wanted to know if you'd be interested in, in, uh, participating. And I was, I was like, say no more. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm your guy, you know, let's, let's do this. And uh, I didn't know what it was all about at the time. Um, and so Gabe's like, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I'll, I'll, sing, I'll get all the stuff together. I'll sing you a track and I just need you to sing over it a little bit. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, that's cool. Like what type of song is it? Am I singing the whole thing? Am I doing just the lyrics? Am I just a background vocal? Or if I'm, you know, do, do I'm, you know, is this the cake and I'm just the sprinkles on the cake? Or like, you know, what, how, how do we do this? So, and he kind of explained, he's like, yeah, just, just go with it, man. Just go with the flow, you know, just sing along with the, with the, the lyrics that the one track that's singing and just come up with whatever you want. And I was like, uh, okay. So, so when I got this song, and I was listening to it. So it's, for those who don't know, I'm in a band, Hazard to Your Booty. So, uh, and- An excellent funk band. Yeah, it, it is funk, soul, and rock and roll. And the way I like to describe it, it's like, it's, it's like CeeLo Green, James Brown, and Parliament Funkadelic all met, met and had an album with <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers, which, which George Clinton actually did did that. Um, but that's the sound that I am typically singing when I'm when I'm doing this thing, and uh, and so he sent this this song to me, and I was like, oh, this is quite different than the genre <laughs> I am used to. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm thinking to myself, how am I going to switch from this funk rock uh, slash R and B uh, singer to a singer songwriter, you know, uh, style of 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 singing and I was like well it's time to stretch it out and see see what I can do and it got me thinking you know this there's a YouTube video out there that is <laughs> that's a lot uh like uh it's it's uh the Golden Girls theme song and then there's a guy who just uh, flips it around and, and sings this soulful version of the Golden Girls and I was like oh this is my Golden Girls moment like, <laughs> this is where it happens <laughs> so, so I'm I'm channeling every ounce of my soulful Betty White, you know, and I'm trying to get in there. Soulful Betty White is my new T-shirt that I'm going to make this. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like, all right. So look I'm, for I'm it gonna... on Teespring, everybody. Don't buy Chris McKee's stuff. Soulful Betty White. Yeah. <laughs> all proceeds go to my kids' college fund. <laughs> I'm in. I'm donating right now. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Soulful Betty White. This is just unbelievable. This is fantastic, Gabriel. Yeah. Uh, do you want to see some of this? A I want bit? to see this and I want people to hear what we received. All right. A space term. All right. I should be back now. You are back now. Nice. All right. So, um, Ryan is one of those people who sent a bunch of stuff and I have bounced him down to one stereo track, but this is what he sent, which is a bunch of tracks. Um, if you look in, you can see all the, like the automation and stuff, but what I'll do is go in and solo out the bounce. So the cool thing here, when we talk about like building out parts, um, this is what we actually have. I want to find this spot is really cool. When this is over, we'll all be okay, so that's going into our our number two chorus, but this is what we actually have here. When this is over, we'll all be together. I'm not afraid of what comes my way. Those secondary parts. When you listen to them in the context of the whole chorus, I'm not of what comes my way. it's like um, there was this cool exercise I heard a few years back. Um, my wife was playing in a, like a summer concert series orchestra thing, and in that they played uh, the the conductor had all the instruments like as a lesson to the audience play all the first parts. 
and then had all the second parts play by themselves so you could hear what they do. And so that's a great example of like second parts that lift everything else up. My other favorite one that no one will know is Ryan is the last chorus. This, these big high notes, um, when you go into the last chorus, well, if this will work. Uh, yeah, that's this man. That's this, (laughs) this wonderful man right here. (laughs) It's so so good. It's so good. Awesome. Ryan, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining the project. We are all, I can say for myself, I I, am sure Lindsay and, and Andy, I'll let you speak for yourselves, but we are so grateful to have you a part of this project i am a fan and my goodness you have an absolutely beautiful voice yeah thank you thank you so much (laughs) thanks for jumping on the show tonight um we'll be chatting some more we love you man thank you it's my pleasure thank you guys love you guys gabe can't wait to see you soon can't wait to see you you so much man (laughs) take care all right peace out next we got we got we got Sarah. We got Sarah Nimitz. Here she comes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for jumping on the show tonight. Um, we'll be chatting. What was that? We love you, Thank man. You. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you guys. Love you guys. Gabe, can't wait to see you soon. Can't wait to see Appreciate you. Appreciate you so much, man. <laughs> oh, somebody's who's not muted. <laughs> go Cubs, go. <laughs> Go Cubs, go! I had to beat you. Yay! <laughs> yes. Oh, look at that! That was wild. We were in like a weird vortex. You yes. Vortex. Yeah, we went was, down like a zoom hole there. I was watching. I was watching your show. Oh, my face is all. Oh, over. that's why. Because you. Watching. Yeah, you're. I'm. I'm. I'm on a delay. I'm watching. <laughs> hey everyone. Sarah. 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 I'm caught up this ladies so and gentlemen up. our good friend sarah man i first met you when you played at our nam booth me too and yeah. gabriel and we yeah. were blown away what was that three years ago gabriel three years Eight, two years three years 19 18 18 18 19 yeah. i met you that year too Lindsay. you did it was, eight, it was 2018 yeah, yeah. right i think I don't, I've through my work with Taylor been fortunate to meet some pretty special um, musicians and I don't usually go full tilt fanboy about things, but the night I met Sarah, I also met one snuffy Walden and may have freaked out and embarrassed myself a little bit because I was so excited. Um, But their performance, it, it, it was like outstanding you kept was... your cool you were you were still cool snuffy wasn't afraid or anything you didn't freak him out <laughs> i was so pumped um that was so you, got, cool you guys were amazing they were man. i think i told her afterwards i was gonna throw a shoe at her like that's how good <laughs> she sang I, I, I remember that yeah she, it was it was incredible and you're right i think it was 2019 man our whole years are getting i don't turned even... around this day seems like it's been three days. I, I don't know what day it is, what hour it is. Yes. So we'll dive in real quick with some questioning for you. I got a couple of questions that I've been meaning to ask you. Um, and one of them, one of them is, it's right here. How do you think this, uh, how did our circumstances in this lockdown, isolation, pandemic situation inspire the song for you? Your parts, Sarah, are so incredibly noticeable. How did they how did they inspire the song when we asked you to do this? I first of all, I was just really surprised and honored that you guys invited me to be a part of it. I was like, ooh, I better not mess up. So I <laughs> that wasn't inspired by the uh the quarantine or anything. That was just wanting to hopefully contribute something. But I would say COVID and all this impacted it in a way that I was just so starved for playing with other musicians. You know, I, I, I'm usually, I'm such an introvert, but it's so important to me to be a part of the community and play music with people. It's just, 
it's so special. And at that point, I was really, really missing it. So I think all of that pent up energy and creativity kind of just exploded forth into whatever I sent. So it was just uh, having been alone for a little too long. And just that we could all come together for a good cause too, because Music Care has really helped me out with stuff in COVID and has just done so much for a lot of friends. So it was cool to to give back a little. Yeah, it was it was it was special. It is special to be, you know, working with Music Cares in this project. Yeah. It it, it surely is. They they do what they say and they, they say really what they do, do stuff yeah and you can see it so tangibly it's not just one of these large organizations where you you wonder are they just kind of doing photo ops are they doing anything <laughs> I've, I've really seen them do things and they then really... you guys are all just awesome it's a, such a good community sarah we got, had lucky enough and some of you in the feed uh hopefully had a chance to to watch it but um sarah and Lindsay. Where in, and now that Andy's in the Northwoods, he wasn't able to be a part of it, and Gabe, Gabriel wasn't a, a, unfortunately a part of it either. But for Nam, uh, believe in Music Week. Nam's believe in Music Week. To, we did a live performance of of the song, and um, it was probably for me as a creative in this process. It was. It, I can tell you, as I watched it in the room, I just low key wept like. I mean, I was, my cheeks, my upper cheeks were sweating with these I was, I was called tears. My face was tired by the end of the day. Whoa, is it hurt? It's killing me. No, just from like, <laughs> just from smiling all day, just like being around people and, and playing music with people. And Lindsay, it was so awesome to hear you play and, and sing. And ugh, it was such a good day. It was, wow. it, it was, it was special for sure. Cool. And just to to be around people and get to pose for a picture together with your arms around other people, it was so weird. Wow, yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was it was it was weird. I mean, we all had to you know test daily for COVID, and I yes. feel like yeah. I got my you know the brain tickle probably oh, so many times in the last month, maybe mm -hmm. fourteen. But it 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 was so worth being in a room with people and seeing live music it truly does it does heal music does heal we yes. agree wholeheartedly that music heals and that's the point of the song i know what love is yeah gabriel i think it's time to show the world and all the people watching <laughs> we're breaking we're breaking the internet by right now by the way <laughs> what what sarah delivered to us yeah absolutely here we go with the weird audio thing. The weird audio thing is going to happen again. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what to say. Oh, yeah. Logic. That's, that's. <laughs> Who's Pro on Pro Tools here? Who's the Pro Tools that's person? A lot of logic. I am. I am. I am. I'm Pro Tools. I, st I still, I still like you a lot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate Pro that. Tools. No, log logic is life, man. I love logic. Um, Sarah's parts were another, th like another one of those cases where I couldn't have been more pumped to get something. Um, I want to show like before we dive into, cause we know Sarah's vocals are going to be amazing, obviously. Right. But one of the cool things Sarah gave us that we all kind of heard right away and freaked out about was this little thing that we didn't even know was missing. And this is one of the things that happens a lot when you work on you know, working with great artists and, and people who are pros and, and they'll just give you things sometimes that you didn't even know you needed. And you're just like, wow, man, did that just, that just made a whole thing for me. So I'll play the part and then I'll solo out her, her guitar part. It's this nice little, it just sits there and just draws you into that, to that section of the verse. And we just got these great little, little pieces like that, um, that I love. And it was one of those things, like I said, we didn't like, nobody else had even thought to do anything like that. Um, so Sarah's vocals 
Gabe, if I, if I may, real quick. Yeah, please. Do you remember what happened when she first, when you first put those little chuggy chugs, those little palm muty parts in the in the song? Do you remember my reaction? I think I feel like <laughs> you and Keith and I maybe had a call, like basically right after that, and there was like a unanimous, "What is that thing? That's awesome! Who did that?" <laughs> like that was one of those great happy like. Who did that? That's awesome. <laughs> Mr. Chuggy Chug says, thank you very oh. much. So Chuggy good, Chugs. though. Have the it was like, I'm sure for you that was like a throwaway thing, but it was just like, oh, man, that's so cool. Like, that just made that part work better. Oh. Um, Glad it, it's, it just is amazing to me the way you fit all of these pieces together, like this wild puzzle. I just thought, what would Paul Tobias do? Um <laughs> So Sarah's, Sarah's <laughs> vocal parts, you can see all this automation. Again, this is like one of those things where you're just building a lot of cool textures. So I'm going to play, I'm going to solo them first. So when you hear that a lot, non soloed it's just this nice extra texture. So that kind of happens all throughout when you get into, um, especially when you get into later parts, there are some really cool vocal runs and stuff um, that just kind of live in the mix really nicely. This is a place Sarah brought back the O's here, um, like called back to the original O's. That's really cool. And again, nobody else had thought to do that. And we have all these great people. which is rad. Um, and then probably the other thing that that is most noticeable to everybody is kind of that end tag, um, oh. which which again was 100% a Sarah invention. So I've got that exaggerated so everybody can kind of hear it. Um, but I'll pop back and just automate it back down to normal so everybody can that that i know what love is tag on the end is incredible the hook big hook just give everything its plate yeah. it's so cool <laughs> all right sarah thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for joining us thank um, you for wearing the cubs hat <laughs> well, you know, I got to wear hats. You know how the show works. I got to wear hats. I'm also wearing it for Paul Tobias. And maybe let's discuss something real quick. We also do something at the end of the show called Two Minutes of Sports. And this week, we're not really going to do Two Minutes of Sports because Two Minutes of Sports is where I like to turn everything into a sports talk show. <laughs> Here's the deal. Two Minutes of Sports tonight is simply this, okay? It's almost baseball season, and I'm really excited. But... Since we have Gabriel on the phone, uh, on the phone, but uh, in the sh on the show, and we have Sarah here. Sarah is a Cubs fan, and Gabriel is a Cleveland fan. Just gonna, oh, Sarah, oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what was the greatest game seven <laughs> of all time? Uh, That's your question. There was this little World Series game a couple of years. I mean, no big deal. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very rare that a team falls behind like that and then goes forward to, to win the game seven, some kind of rain delay. <laughs> you know, I think not always, but sometimes the, the best team wins. And <laughs> it's, it's just a, a beautiful thing when that happens. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what, do you, what do you think? Probably 2016 <laughs> World Series. It was, I was backstage uh, on a gig watching on this little TV 
and then we got we got champagne around and we were all just crying and someone ripped his shirt off and drew a big C on his chest. <laughs> he didn't know anything about sports. He was just feeling it. But, yeah, I don't know. But what what's what's up? I was screaming at the television. <laughs> <laughs> but still the greatest game seven of all time and still my favorite baseball game of all time. That rain delay, I think, saved us. Yeah, it did. Yeah, definitely. I've never, I've never. <laughs> We're not bitter there. still. Hey, hey, Rajay Davis though he was on, he was on the Tigers, so that's okay. I can put my Tigers hat back on. No. <laughs> we'll end the show the way we started the show. Sarah, thank you, thank you so much. Having your amazing you. art and your contributions. Yes. Everybody, go buy Sarah's 2020 record. It's so good. It's so good. And I, I love have that it. prime time. Prime time. It's been bopping around in my head all day. I love it. <laughs> when I produce Andy's official primetime record, you can. We'll I'll do all the that. chuggy chuggy parts you want if you want. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Sarah. We'll let you dive off, but right, we appreciate you and thank you so much for your for 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 helping us make this thing so special. We Thanks appreciate you. Me. Thank you guys. Yeah. All right, we did it. We, we talked did it. about everything. Almost there's, everything. There's one we more part that we, Lindsay, Lindsay has, some, she wants to say something. Oh, no, I said we did it. Phew. Oh, I know. This yeah. is a weird show, right? We're not talking about <laughs> guitar parts and humidity. And, and, and we already knew that, that, that this is what we make with guitars. Music. It's music. And this is all, this is why we do it. The music, yeah. music heals. It's, it, it saves, it could end wars I, I i swear to you i i once said that radiohead and daft punk could end a war <laughs> that is my opinion but it could if you just listen to it or or even the beatles or marvin gay oh my goodness marvin gay oh man marvin curtis gay. mayfield curtis mayfield oh the black pumas i mean we could go on forever there's so many but there was so much talent in this project and i am so grateful to have you guys all be a part of it but Gabriel, remember the one part that I wanted to show everybody? Yeah, well, there there are a couple parts we absolutely have to show everybody. All right, let's show them, and then we'll wrap up the show. Let's uh, let's get in here. Go ahead and walk us through it. I like doing this, Jay. Can we do this next week too? I know it's cool, <laughs> isn't it? It's cool. We went deep on the guitar nerd, on the on the recording nerd. We did. Yeah. Am I back now? Am I good? You have me again? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So there's a couple of cool things. I want to show everybody this little bit of genius that's super cool. Um, this is one of my favorite things, and this is where I'll go f full deep on the guitar nerd. Uh, this is... I want to I want to highlight this and show show kind of what it started as and what it ended up as. So this is Mr. Andy Lund uh playing this cool uh So this is Andy's 12 string part. It's a really nice simple part. I wanted this kind of U2 moment and so I made it this. So it really sings there, but my favorite part is when you get into, and again, this is a chuggy part. It just kind of makes that whole section work. It's awesome. Um, Andy's also got some really great vocal parts that are that are killer in there. Um, but then there was another vocal part <laughs> that just just kind of uh, yeah is special. Um, and that's that's Miss Lindsay Love um, in this great third chorus section. So 
So it's like this nice, super cool, understated thing. There's not a lot of stuff going on there. We didn't treat it with a bunch of stuff. There's like a little like doubling. Her voice, her voice breaks up on the word word works. Like her voice kind of cracks and it gets a little raspy on that syllable. Yeah. Cool. That's yeah. that's that's what we call when producing a song. Yeah. That is what we call the tearjerker. There's a there's a little like extra saturation on it and just a little bit of a doubler to bring that out. And that's it's pretty pretty clean and simple. It's just kind of great. Uh, Lindsay. You did a crazy job with all these tracks. <laughs> he did. Yeah. Seriously. All right. So now let's turn it back to you, Gabriel. You crushed it. <laughs> you crushed it. It was yeah. absolutely incredible working with you on this. And I know I'm calling you out in front of everyone <laughs> in the feed. All nine people. All three people <laughs> in the feed right now. You crushed it. And I know that you were a little bit nervous <laughs> going into this project. We've had this discussion, but there was no other person who could do this. You crushed it. Oh, I appreciate Bravo. you guys. I, I was so pumped just to work with you guys. Like, I was, I was so pumped for that. And then you throw in... You know, Jason Mraz and and Zach Brown and Katie Tunstall and all these wonderful people who all added great parts. Um, we didn't show, we talked about, but didn't show. We can show if you want Jason's part. I, I, I think it's I think it's fine. We can kind of talk about it. Maybe we'll do a part two of this one day. But Jason's Jason's part is this really simple. It's again, it's a chuggy guitar part. Are you noticing a theme in things I like here? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it's a simple, it's almost one note. Um, and the song is like, we got it and, and, and it was this really simple and we're like, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I, I probably, I can go ahead and I'll say it. We all got Jason Mraz's part and we were a bit underwhelmed. When like, we got it, we figured we'd Jim, get a vocal or, you know, like a big Jason, like Mraz. a big giant, right. Verse or something like that. And he sang big in the, in the chorus, which we, I mean, he, he, he guides us through the chorus, which is totally Jason Mraz. The guy's a brilliant songwriter and musician, but he gave us this part that was a single note kind of rhythm. And we all kind of went, Keith and Gabriel and I were, ah. Eh. Yeah, I think we had a Zoom meeting like this. And we're like, it's kind of, I mean, okay. And then Gabe put it in the mix, and and it it was it was relatively early on still, and we put it in there, and we were like, oh, it's like the spinal cord for the whole, the whole song. song. <laughs> the whole <laughs> song is built on it. Like, I think like you have to play it now. You're doing too much setup to not right, just go play, play one okay. little part. <laughs> One little part, do that, and then maybe it's maybe funny. play Zach Brown's part, and then we'll yeah, we should play kind of wrap up because Zach's great. All right, last weird audio screen share, everyone. <laughs> I promise. There you go. The lag time has ended. <laughs> it's this weird lag where like it's got to switch over. So Jason's nylon is literally this simple. Dan, Dan, now Dan, if you hear Dan. it. So now if I go back and just play that bit again without it, though. Yeah, put it back. It, you, it just like, it's just this great little thing. And then our other favorite thing that he did was this, this cool.
little end lick um, that was amazing. And it just kind of, it's another one of those things like, oh, we've got that great little topper now. And Zach, let me find Zach, is right here. And Zach, one of the cool things that Zach did that initially, and I don't mind calling myself out on this, Zach, um, going into the last chorus, was off time from everybody else's singing. And I initially, like, time corrected it. And that was my gut instinct, just to bring it in, in with everything else. And we sent the mix out to Matt Mangiano. And he came back and was like, yeah, no, that was intentional, <laughs> which of course it was. <laughs> um, but for whatever reason, I didn't catch that. So, um, I don't have the answer, but with your love, things will get better. When this is over, we'll all be together. I'm not. that little because of you mm -hmm. at the end, like initially I was like, huh? <laughs> and just didn't know what to do with it. And again, super simple. There's some top end kind of EQ work. That was a tube mic. It's like a $6,000 tube mic in his living room. And then a little bit of kind of <laughs> FSL and saturation, <laughs> simple stuff. You can't, it's, I mean, you can't really improve on Zach Brown very much. So <laughs> it was pretty great. <laughs> That was it, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Evan. We missed you. You're going to have to go walk back and watch this show. This was a crazy one. We went through the making of I Know What Love Is. Uh, Gabriel, again, you crushed it. Thank you, guys. Andy you Lund. Guys crushed it. <clears throat> Andy Lund, what you delivered to this song and what you gave to this song was so special. Andy manages, as you know, uh, a lot of our Asian territory uh, yeah, Taylor, man. and he pulled in you know, artists from his territory, all artists from all over the world. Part, you know, took part in this. Lindsay, it was you absolutely delivered, and I mean, having Zach Brown follow you was a special moment um, for sure. Uh, you know, Sarah talked about crying when the Cubs won. I definitely, that was my Cubs moment when I got to see this song be performed live. It was super special. Hopefully we can re-edit the footage and post it so that you guys can see it. Um, but that's tonight's show. We're not going to wrap up with any goofy segments. Um, we have one final thing, and that is Lindsay's question, because we added the segment last week, and we want to bring it back we love it Lindsay. my favorite part is when you stump the guest so Lindsay, i think <laughs> mr lund has a song you want to go for I, it yeah yeah i'm gonna go for it yes Oh. What do you wish for? Where do you go? Who is your hero? She wants to know. Sometimes they're hard to answer. So much to dream of always be ready for the questions from love <laughs> yes. so good <clears throat> my favorite part is having andy make new songs it's so good we did, I, did, I mean we just i just add segments to this thing so that he makes new songs 
You lied like, to me. Too. You said we weren't going to do anything else tonight. So I was. Yeah, really... you weren't ready. <laughs> I, I feel like Andy, Andy, fine. Fine. Andy has a whole second living waiting for him on like Fiverr doing custom songs for people. Yeah. <laughs> like jingles. I woke up this morning yeah. and I was like, oh, oh man, I, I have to write a song for Lindsay. <laughs> so anyway. Oh, let's see. All right. Um, Gabe, I just 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 to get to know you a little better. Everybody knows your incredible engineering skills. Oh. Um, so so what is the most um, I don't like the word useless, but what was it? What was the most the most useless talent you might have that maybe nobody knows about you? Oh man, the most useless talent? Uh, it's probably my guitar playing skills in this case, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> definitely my singing. Uh, most useless talent? I went to art school. Uh, I was a painting and drawing major. I'm an art school dropout, which I don't do at all anymore um but i went to art school yeah uh that's awesome that's how i started out i didn't start playing i didn't pick up a guitar until i was 22. um yeah <laughs> I, wow. I picked up a guitar at, at 22 which is kind of roughly the same time i started show getting show us a piece show us a piece you've drawn <laughs> oh <laughs> Hang on. well that would be awesome where's the art <laughs> yeah where's the art right, hang on <laughs> yes yeah. i love these real-time moments the real time moments is yes. great. Uh, yes. But mom, mom, mom. He started when he was 22, so you could pick up a guitar tomorrow if you want. Absolutely. It's never too late. Never too to late. Pick up okay. A guitar. okay, here we guitar go. Truck show. So, one of the things I, I nerd out about as much as other people in here are going to nerd out about guitars comic book nerd. So, uh, well, this is badly lit, but. Uh -huh. Spidey. Oh. The, oh, the wow. panel from a uh, wow. Spidey comic. No, I, I, drew. I see. That's good. I was like, I was, yeah, I, I was super into comic book art and a variety of other things, but I don't know. There's paintings floating around that I've, I've done and stuff too. I love it. Wow. Lindsay, I appreciate the question because I, I know it pretty well. And I didn't that was know a that. really good question. Yeah. Thank you. A, this so is that my truly uh, these days a useless talent because I don't do anything with it anymore. <laughs> I don't like that word because it's not useless, but yeah. No, I, I draw stuff for my kids to color, I, but that's, that's about amazing. It. That's amazing. Awesome. Well, everyone, um, here's the deal. I know what love is because of you. <laughs> uh, we couldn't have Keith on the show tonight because this has gotten him some work and musicians need to work. The, the most that they can and in any way possible during a pandemic. And uh, he was asked to produce a record. So he is working virtually with somebody right now producing a record. And that's pretty cool. And we're pretty stoked on it. I couldn't have co-produced this thing without these two fellows, Gabriel and Keith Goodwin. Um, one of these days, we hope to have Keith on the show. He's a spectacular yeah. songwriter. He's a wonderful talent. He's just an overall great dude. He's amazing. Um, when Jay first uh, told me I was doing this and I found out I was doing it with, with Keith, that that was enough for me right there. I was super pumped. I've been a good old war fan for basically as long as they've existed. So I was, you know, that was the moon for me. <laughs> like that was a huge deal. Uh, he And he's become a, a friend. That's one of the best things to come out. I mean, Jay and I have only known each other, is it three or four years now? Yeah. We met because of me doing work for Taylor. So uh, along with all of this amazing experience, I also gained a friend in Keith Goodwin, which is, which has just made it that much sweeter. Um, and he's an amazing guy. Yeah, it's true. I back yeah. you on that. So before we sign off, I know what love is, was an opportunity for us to give back to music. It was an opportunity for all this, this community that we live in of musicians. And as a manufacturer, I had many conversations with Bob Taylor and leadership in the company about this project. And um, one thing that I kept saying is, as a guitar manufacturer, there are certain people, you in the feed, who put food on our table because you buy these wonderful instruments that the incredibly talented men and women in 
our production departments build. And we don't often have a chance to give back to the musicians and the artists who put food on our table. And this was our opportunity to do that. Um, hopefully, Lindsay, next week episode is we're going to get to know you and your job at Taylor Guitars a little bit more. Uh, artists and community relations manager. And we're going to talk about what that means and what that means for Taylor Guitars. But as a manufacturer, we just wanted to give back to music because this is what we're here for. We're all here for music. Um, so I have a favor to ask. Share this song with everybody you know. Because the only thing you have to do in order to help the project is to listen to the song. It's on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Pandora, Deezer, uh, Tidal. It's on every platform, YouTube. Watch the video over and over and over again. Go to our website, iknowwhatloveis.com and share the web link and let everybody know about it because the best thing that we can do for music is to support it. Buy Daria's art, buy Ryan's art, buy every artist, buy Sarah's new record. It's phenomenal. Support the art by buying it, paying for it and giving back. That's it. That's all you gotta well, do. So everybody, you guys, uh, we appre I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys on the feed. We love doing the show. We'll be back next week with our lovely Lindsay Love. I mean, it's going to be, that That was awesome because your last name is Love. Lovely, love. It's like lovely. a love fest in a sentence right there. It's like a love fest. I know what love is. Love, Lindsay Love, lovely. Anyway. You guys are the best. Thank you for joining us every single week. And thank you guys for being a part of this special project. Yes. Well said, Jay. Good job. Thanks, man. Hey, Thanks, Andy. everybody. We love you guys. Take it away. Share the love. It's almost Valentine's Day. Send this to everyone you love. Yes. What was it? What was it? It was prime time. Prime time. What the heck was it? What was that? Well, that was prime time. Thanks to Gabe and Jay for such a lovely song. I know what love is, it's made to sing along. And music lasts forever, it's important to the brain and when we sing together we can help to heal some pain <laughs> on prime time on tuesdays here on prime time good night everybody thanks for watching the show <laughs> see you next week <laughs> <laughs>